How's it going everyone? It's Max Fisher here from A Better Universe and it is the start of our 30 day sprint challenge. Yeah, that's right. We're going to make it happen in these 30 days. I want you guys to have your major goal picked out and your two sideliners that you guys are going to get done. No more procrastination. We're going to get through those roadblocks, those self-limiting beliefs, and we're going to make it through on this uh, 30 days and we're going to really turn the heat on and find out what we can really achieve. For me guys, I'm, I've been saying it, telling you I'm going to do it, I've been making progress, but it's really time to just, uh, it's time to make it happen guys, you know, there's, there's a certain amount, procrastination isn't like a real thing, I don't know if you guys realize that, if I told you that you guys would get a million dollars if you did X, Y, Z, there probably wouldn't be too much procrastination in the things that you did. The fact of the matter is that it's just not important enough to you. You don't make it important enough because, let's be realistic, we all have enough time to set aside 15-20 minutes in the day to go after said goal and uh, make the strides. You know, if you set aside 15-20 minutes every day and you can keep that consistently, you can build some pretty good momentum with stuff like that. So that's the idea here. I'm trying to, you know, build the momentum to get that website uh, up and running with all the content that I can possibly pour out of my poor little brain. It's going to be working on overdrive trying to figure out how to set up this website, but uh, that's fine. I'm, I'm okay with that. I know that's the detriment and it needs to be uh, be handled in an appropriate manner and um, it needs to just be uh, finished this time around and we're going to make it happen. And then on the sideliners guys, I've got Meditate Every Day, which uh, we're going to start right now with our Mindfulness Monday. And um, then I've got my uh, my handstand push-up and my human flag goal. Uh, the handstand push-up and the human flag kind of go both with the physical, but it's uh, it's good guys. It's good to just keep you know making those goals and jumping on these challenges with me and um, taking the insight in and learning and uh, you know of course I learn from you guys so when you guys give me insight into what helped and what didn't and what you don't understand it helps me better be able to explain um, and tell you the proper steps that you need to take or maybe you know maybe you could tell me some of the proper steps I need to take to uh, achieve my goals. We're all unique we all have a different um, little bit of information in this huge puzzle we call life so don't ever be afraid and don't ever think that you know you don't have anything to offer and don't ever think that you know it all guys because um, you always want to be a student and a teacher so today in our mindfulness Monday um, before we start I just want to hit on uh, receptivity so receptivity uh, in your practice in your daily awareness practice and in your daily meditations um, you become more receptive to, in, to enhance perception and higher consciousness and um, life unfolding for you in a magical way and being able to look inside uh, with the more receptive your environment is. Like as you can see right now I have this incense lit around me and that the smell itself, the fragrance itself is actually calming to the mind. It, um, sitting in this position right here with your back straight and your legs crossed is said to um, nullify some of the desires of the human body just by having the legs crossed like that and it keeps the attention I mean when you lay backwards you might you know fall asleep or whatever uh, so this definitely keeps your mind alert and awake and being able to be receptive to it so that you're not feeling drowsy nodding out and such like that so and you know I've got the door shut I've got distractions shut out guys that's what it is about being um, it's not you know sometimes we got a lot going on in a day and um, there's it's not always going to be positive but uh, we have to do our best to make an environment when we try and look inside ourselves and do our mindfulness work that we make an environment where it's just us guys we need to explore just us and we need to shut out the rest of the world so that way we can um, and you know set up the your environment in such a way that you become the most receptive to the practice um, in today's mindfulness Monday I want to go over a technique that um, that I've been developing and um, it's rooted in transcendental meditation uh, it's basically the idea of um, 
generating a feeling of either happiness, bliss, uh, you know, the idea of visualization of success, but all of these uh, feelings, emotions, like uh, the logical thought and process all has a certain wiring, a certain um, uh, impulse in your brain. If you can, if you have increased your perception in a way, you can um, feel where those impulses and sources are coming from. And in transcendental meditation, you basically focus on, you know, uh, an event that makes you feel happy, and then you feel the happiness. Then you just focus on just the sensation, and then. Um, through that you increase it and focus on it and build it as much as possible. So we're doing basically the same thing, but I want you to take it and apply it in a different aspect. You can apply it to, um, you know, let's say my new job that I just got, guys. I have to learn hundreds of names uh, at a you know at a rip a day. I might be meeting you know 50, 60 new people. Now, do I get all the names? Hell no. Hell no, I don't. But I try my best, and there's, I realized that if you close your eyes and you uh, build that perception, and you think to yourself, you know, don't t take those self-limiting beliefs away, and you know, I can learn everybody's name the first time they tell me. And when you say that, there's a certain amount of pers uh, impulses that run through the brain that you can feel. There's a certain perception with that thought and idea. A certain amount of impulses that fire off with that uh, thought. So the idea is to take that, see it, perceive it, and intensify it, which is basically building your neuro pathways in your brain and your central nervous system to be able to be that person that you want to be. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, I want you guys to, you know, take, take a second, pause the video if you got to, find out um, how or what you are going to like intensify. So for me, this time around, I'm, you know, I'm gonna say, you know, uh, I wanna do the intensification of uh, learning people's names, being able to pick up quickly on that, um, being able to make that personal emotional connection. That's like a certain sensation, perception, feeling that you can intensify. Being happy, being joyful. Uh, I'm gonna definitely take those into it and. The best thing is, you know, I've said this before, the brain doesn't uh, recognize between imaginary and real life, so uh, neither does the central nervous system. So I can also train my brain and intensify, uh, perceive and intensify these things with physical goals, just like handstand push-ups and um, uh, uh, planches and human flags. The, the central nervous system will still fire off in the same way and, and in your muscle fibers. So, um, I'm going to intensify those feelings and, uh, you know, it's just, it, not only are you intensifying the feelings and bringing about the law of uh, attraction in this way, but you're also, um, you're also helping your, your, uh, the actual functioning of your brain, your front cerebral cortex. Um, when you do these visualizations, it starts to activate once you open your eyes and your reticular activating system starts pointing out the pathway for you. So... Um, now that you guys have a little deeper understanding of what's going on, let's get right into it. So, uh, just, you know, cross your legs. If this is uncomfortable for you, it's supposed to be because that's what's going to keep you awake. Now, if you can't do this, try and sit upright, um, find some kind of position that you know you're not going to nod off in. Uh, when you turn your palms upward, it increases your receptivity. So that's always a good tip. And, um... We're just going to breathe in, diaphragmatic breathing from the bottom of the stomach, which activates the vagus nerve in, uh, right near your heart, which slows the whole system down and brings you to a relaxed state. So that's what I want you to focus on. Focus on the sensation, focus on big breaths in, full breaths out, cleansing breaths out, calming, focus on the sensation, First, focus on increasing your perception of what's going on in your body. And then once we brought in ourselves to a calmer state, then I'm going to start leading you through the transcendental or, you know, the intensification of your process. Um, and as always, you know, you're going to modify it just that slight bit and I'm just going to walk you through it, but you're going to have a little work to do yourself. 
Um, anytime that your mind starts to wander, bring it back to your breath. And then once you bring it back to your breath, bring it back to your goals, bring it back to your perception of what you're trying to increase in your body and the intensification of the feeling. Okay, so that's what we're doing. Let's get started, guys. Circle out the wrist and find your comfortable position. Breathe in deep through the nose. Out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth, slow, deep breaths. Energy in on the inhale, negative energy out, cleansing exhale. like, focus on your third eye, breathe in deep, and exhale, focus on the rise, and the inhale, And the fall in the body with the exhale. Feel the lifting sensation as you breathe in. Feel your sit bones root to the ground as you breathe out. Focus on the breath, in through the nose, running down the back of your throat, filling your chest and stomach, big full breaths, exhale, breathe in deep. Relax your mind, your body. Come to a natural resting state with inside your mind. Let the tension go in your body. Focus on the sensation of the breath. Once you've slowed your mind and your heart down, slowed your breath, become centered in your energy. Start to focus on a past event that brings you a joyful emotion or sensation in your body. It can be anything that makes you smile, happy, feel loved. Focus on the event, perceive the sensation in your body, where it starts, where it ends, how it feels, let a smile come to your face. Feel the activation through your whole body just by focusing on that emotion. Intensify it.
every inhale it grows stronger mental and neural pathways in your brain grow quicker and stronger look at the person you want to be Focus on the sensations of what it would be like to be that person. Intensify it. With every inhale, bring greater energy to the sensations running through your body. Keep visualizing in detail how strong you are, how smart you are, how successful you are. Focus on all of these and intensify them. There's always a higher intensification of a joyous state and a negative state. But it's a choice on what you focus on. Learn to just intensify these awesome, amazing feelings in the body. Come in complete control and rewire your brain. Breathe in deep. If you lose the sensation, focus on your breath. Focus on your visualization and your goals of that past event that brings about the sensation. And then intensify. Sit with these feelings. And slowly open your eyes. soak in that you still have control, still try and intensify these feelings with your mind, taking in the visual stimulus. the idea guys use this technique to rewire your brain before bed and you'll see amazing results come morning time I promise and your whole day will be changed alright guys this is Max from a better universe your mind body spirit connection hope to see you tomorrow or I'm sorry I hope to see you Wednesday <laughs>